Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Hello everyone, welcome to Robocrace. My name is Thomas and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a DIY baby crying detector using two microbits. We will be making use of a platform called Microsoft MakeCode, which is a GUI based programming application that even your young ones can easily get started with. So the way we're going to design this is we're going to use one micro bit as the micro bit that's going to be kept in the baby's room and one micro bit to be kept in the parent's home. Micro bit one, which I'll be referring to as the baby room micro bit, is going to listen for any odd sounds above a certain threshold. If it does hear it, this micro bit is going to send a message to the parents' micro bit and sound off an alert, waking up the parents. In addition to that, micro bit one will also start playing music to calm the baby down and show some animations on this LED screen. Similarly, on the parents as well, we're going to play uh, an animation just to indicate that something is wrong. We also have uh, one of the buttons in the micro bit to press so that you can turn off the sound and the alarm sent by micro bit. So, sounds pretty simple, right? So, without a further ado, let's get started. To get started, we will begin by going into Microsoft Make Code. I already have the web page open here. The link will be in the description below. Microsoft Make Code is specifically designed for Microbit, so you can easily get started with all your projects on Microbit. Go to New Projects. Give your project a name. So we will be have, we will have to make two separate codes: one for the baby side and one for the parent side. So we'll begin by making the code for the baby side. So I will name it Baby Monitoring Baby Side. and click on create. You will be presented with a screen where there is all the tools and blocks necessary for us to create this particular program. The on start block means a set of instructions that the micro bit is supposed to do on boot up. So on boot up, we need to do two things. Set the threshold level for what is loud and to set the radio group. I will explain what the radio group is in a second. We can begin by going to the input tab and then there's a more button. Click on the more button and there's a set loud sound threshold to 128. So we can keep, we can track this and put it under our start block. We can set the threshold to any value you require. You can play around with the value and see what suits you. So for us, we found out that 150 works well. Next thing is to go into the radio button, radio tab and click on radio set group. What this allows us to do is the micro bit is going to set the radio group in a group called one. So any micro bit that is connected to group one will receive any message sent by this particular micro bit. So we will be doing a similar configuration on the parent side so that the, both the micro bits can communicate. So we'll leave this at uh, channel one, so radio group at one. Next, we need to go to input block again scroll down on loud sound and we'll drag this here on loud sound means it's more like a event trigger so when the micro bit detects a loud sound what it is supposed to do so what it's supposed to do we will be putting as we go on through this tutorial we'll again go to the radio button go to radio send number so we will be sending a number one when the micro bit detects a loud noise. Now we will, as I mentioned before, we will also be using the micro bit to play some animation on the built-in LED matrix display. So for that, I'll go to the basic tab, go to the show icon tab and drag it under the radio. You can choose any icon of your liking, but I will be choosing a sad face since the baby started crying. Next, I will go to variables and I'm going to make a variable. I'm going to call it baby state. Click on OK. And I'm going to set baby state to again one. So what this means is we are going to monitor this particular variable called baby state. 
and decide whether we want to play the music or not. Now, since the baby state is one, we can do something. And if the baby is not crying, we will be setting baby state to zero. Next part of the programming is the forever loop. So what is the micro bit supposed to do right after it's booting up and what it is supposed to do throughout? So we will just be putting simple animations to indicate that the micro bit is indeed operating. So we'll put a heart icon. We'll put a one more heart icon so that it kind of emulates a beating heart, a smaller heart icon. Next, we have to drag in the if condition. So what the if condition is going to do is check the baby state variable. If the baby state is equal to one, it's going to play the music. If the baby state is equal to zero, it's not going to play the music. So for the if condition, we'll go under the logic tab and drag on the if condition. Again, we again go to the logic tab and change the comparison mode. So I'm going to do equal to's here and I'm going to drag it inside the if block. For the first part, I'm going to put variable baby state. Baby state is equal to one. So if baby state is equal to one, what is the micro bit supposed to do? We're going to play a music. So we go to the music tab, scroll down and we can choose play melody. I can choose, put, choose to put it here and choose some random tones. And press done. You can play around with the music and put the kind of melody that you prefer. For demonstration purposes, I've just chosen some random. Now, next stop is the stop button. So the parent has a control bearer. If they press a button from their device, the baby microbit is going to stop playing the music and go back to its default mode. So to do that, we again go to radio tab. On radio received, received number. So we go add that. Now we again add an if condition. So if, if we make a variable called received number, so receive number, click on OK. If received amount number, oh, whoops, we have to also change the comparison. So we'll put this here. If received number, if received number equal to 100, we are going to go back to our default and we are going to set, that is, we are going to set the baby state back to zero and stop the currently playing melody. So we again go to variables, set, can drop down, click on baby state equal to zero. And we're going to go to music, scroll down, and we are going to stop melody. And for fun's sake, we can also add an icon as soon as this happens of a smiley face, since the baby has presumably stopped crying. So this concludes our first micro bits programming. Now to upload the code, we can just take one, take our baby micro bit here. I'll put the parent micro bit aside, take the micro USB cable and connect it. Once connected, you can go to the download button and click on download. So to upload the code, the hex file is downloaded. You can just go to the downloaded folder. So here's the hex file that just got downloaded. I'm just going to open the micro bit file explorer as well and do a simple drag and drop. This is basically the procedure on how to upload code to the micro bit. Just let it wait for it to get done. Once, once the code is pasted, the micro bit will turn off and turn on again with the code not being present. Don't get scared because the code is actually uploaded and already into the micro bit. Next, we can proceed to uh, program the parent side of the baby monitoring. I will disconnect this micro bit for now. 
So similarly, I'm just going to go back in the main code. Click on new project and I'm going to name this baby monitoring parent side. On start, we're going to basically be doing the same thing. We're going to we're going to add the radio button and set the radio group to one so that the micro bit can communicate with the baby micro bit as it is also set to group one. Next, we're going to go to the radio tab and we're going to do on radio received received number. So received number, we need to check if we need or whatever the number is received, we have to set that as the baby state. So we go to variables, we make a variable called baby state and click on set baby state to received number. We can just go, we can just drag this received number and we will set the baby state to whatever the number was received. Next, on the under the forever tab, we put an if condition. So if baby state equal to one, we are going to play an alert sound for the parents and we are going to set a particular icon that is supposed to be showing on the matrix display. So to do that, we will go to variables, we'll go to logic, we'll change the comparison, go to variables, go to baby state. If baby state equal to, equal to zero, we will just show a display of the heart heartbeat so that we know the product is functioning and else if the baby state is not equal to zero then we are going to play we are going to show sorry we are going to show another icon that may be a cross and we're going to play an alert sound so for that we can just uh, go to music and play a middle tone and after that, we can clear screen. So this concludes our basic baby monitoring on the parent side, but we also have one more functionality where if we press the button A, we can stop the baby side from playing the melody. So for that, we again go to input. We drag on button A pressed here. And we will set the baby state variable to zero. So set, bring the set icon, drag, set it baby state equal to zero. And we are going to send a radio signal of 100. So we will radio send number 100. And that concludes our parent side uh, micro bit programming. So similar to before, you take the micro bit, connect the USB cable, Once it's connected, again, the microbit file explorer window will open. We just have to download the hex file. Open folder location and it's here, parent side. I will just bring up the microbit window and we are just going to drag it and drop it. And as you can see, it's going into the default heartbeat mode. Now our program is ready. So I'll bring two the, both the micro bits here in the frame and we will test out if it works. This is the baby side, this is the parent side. So I'm gonna play a loud sound. So what is happening here is the baby sound, the baby micro bit is playing some music to calm down the baby, while the parent side micro bit is playing a cross and playing an alert sound to calm, to alert the parents that the baby is awake. So now I can click on the button A and they should stop. And we should go back to the heart beating mode. 
So for more clarity, this is the baby sound and I'm going to make a very loud sound. It's going to start playing a music. This at the same time is going to be sending the signal to another mic to the parent side microwave alerting the parents. Now on the parent side, there will be a cross mark and an alarm being played to alert the parents. You can easily click on the A button to stop the alarm and to stop the melody being played on the other micro bit. Now in case you don't have a wall to connect your micro bit to power the micro bit on, you can also use the included battery pack which comes with the micro bit and you can easily power the whole system just by connecting this and putting the batteries in. So you can have it as a very portable device and you can keep it in the baby cradle or you can put it next to the bedside of the parent. So that's one amazing feature of the Microbit B2. That's it for the video guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Stay tuned to the channel for more such content. Until next time, stay safe and keep programming.